Ruchim Aboim B'Shem Hashem, B'Shem Irgin Shir Ter, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Shir from Harav Yaakov Zavs Mishlita, and reading the Kiyas, the Tznius, B'chai HaMishpacha, Brochus, learning and davening in a family setting. To have the great Tzchus is sponsoring a Shir called Irgin Shir Ter, 718-851-8651, email ist at yeshivanet.com. Harav Smith. Today's sugi is, like they say, timely and timeless. It's Nageya every day, every Shabbos. Especially Yom Tov is coming and their children and grandchildren are coming with them. And we have a host of these type of shilas, whether it's singing smeris with the children, boys with girls. Is it mutter to say a bracha when a young girl is running around uh, with a nightgown with, a short, with his short sleeves or it's uh, not the right sneers? Making a bracha, saying kiddush when there's someone that has a dirty diaper. So as we'll see, it's really three sugyas, but it's really one sugya if you learn it properly. The Pasik says in Parshki Seite, when Yidin went to war, and the Baruch of course, is needed to the Seite the Shmaya to help them survive. So the Pasik warns us, kadosh, your encampment has to be Halig. So here we're talking even to soldiers fighting for their lives in a Pekuch Nefer situation, but you can't overlook that there has to be Tznius and there has to be Nikius. Don't forget the Sulam of Pinchas Ben Yo and the Gemara of Oydazar, the Afchaf and Melbeis, Nikius, Mevil, they precious. And Taka the Chinuch in Mitzvah Tafkuf Samachvav, when he explains this Issa of making a bracha in the in a presence of of Tzoya, he says because the midas one of the midas toivos by a yid is Nikius, Tznius. We all know how important that is for Shras Hashchina, the Sefri. On this pasuk says, "Malamet sh'arayis misalekes as hashchina." Achmanu l'tzlan. If we want the shchina to be in our midst, we have to be careful. And don't forget who are, who are the soldiers, who are the yiddish soldiers. As Chazal tell us, if they had even an issa the rabbanon, they wouldn't go to war. I always say the yiddish army was an amech kulam sadikim, mamish kipshutay. And yet, if there's a lack of tznius, if there's a lack of of kedusha, the brush them leaves. I heard this from Don Segel, heard it from a son of the Rabbi Ram Kamanovich, who was there in the in the Kinesia Gedoyla, all the famous pictures of the Chafiz Chaim was from that Kinesia Gedoyla. There was a, they had a big, big room, and the women were upstairs in, the, in a balcony, and some felt they should put up a mechitza, even though the women are separate, but there should be a mechitza. Others say, let them see, it's not any, no issa. So they asked the Heilig Chafiz Chaim, so he heard the question, and he started learning a pasuk in, in Chumash, and he said, this pasuk, he says, if you want the shechina in our midst, the more tzniyas, the more shechina. We came here to, to bring Kedusha to the world. If we put up a mechitz, even though we don't need it, we're better off. But no doubt about it, we have two Isurei Torah that we find in this pasuk, in Shechon from Ayin Gimel all the way to Pei Tes, Various simonim about these two sugyas. Both of them are Yisurei Torah, don't forget. The Gemara in Brach is Chafei. A person is, is asa to say a davash of a in the presence of Tzoya. Now we have to be, make this clear, I'll be moist my dad once and for all. When we say the word davash of a in any of the shilas today, it includes learning Torah, davening, Krishma, or even a bracha, to say a shahakal in front of a dirty diaper, presumably is in a Raisa, because that's a violation of Hayyamach Necha Kadosh. And Mr. and I involved Sivka and Beis, Kalmakam Shaniska, this Issa, it goes all Davash Abigadusha. The Bialacha in the Akdama to Simon Ayin Tess says, like I told you, that this is an Issa Raisa, it's not just a Chumrah. Saying a Davish Mikadusha in the presence of Tsoya is Nisa Dereis. In fact, the Shulchan Aruch says it if a person said a bracha and didn't bother checking if the diaper was clean or not, and there was a reason to suspect the diaper was dirty, since he violated the Sveika Dereis or Lechumra, he would have to say over the bracha. Because this is an Nisa Dereis. An interesting example, then the second sugya is Layir Vacha Ervas Dava. 
And this, the Gemara in Brachis, Erev Ashashi is also Likrais Krishma. Now, of course, it doesn't mean Erev and a lantern. Ashashi is a lantern. It means even if there's a glass in between the person and the Erev, but Lemaisa, La Yerva, Cha'erva, Zdova. Now, hopefully, this is very, very rare. But we do have it in two places which bring highlights the point. In Bav Metziya Kuf Yudalad, Minayin La'orim Shaloy Yitrem, a person's alone, but he's not dressed. How do you know he's not allowed, to, not, not allowed to take off truma? And why not? What's wrong with taking off truma? Because you can't make a bracha. So even if a person's alone and he's not dressed, there's an isa deraisa to make a bracha. <clears throat> the Yishalmi in Truma's Aleph Dalid says to say Krishna as an Aram is the same isa. So here we have two isurei toyer, and from now on we're going to refer to it as the isa of Nikios which means Makam Tzoya, and the Issa of Tzniyas, which means Layir B'chayar Vazdava, both Isurei Tzoya. Now I'm sure you notice what's obviously missing is where's the Sugya of Kol Be'isha? Talking about singing Zemiris with, a, with, with, with boys and girls together in a family setting. Who said that's also? Who state this? And Echanami. It's Takanara Pasuk, please keep that in mind. And this is the Sugya in Brachas Chavdalad. <coughs> Since the Pasik in Shira Shirim praises a voice, so obviously there's a taiva, and therefore Kol Beisha stimulates Hiru and Rayim. And Taka in Ebenezer, Simon Chavalev, the whole Simon, Lisrachek Min Arayis, there are many different examples. One of them, Zakta Shochanarach, also the Shmoya Kol Erva. So Sasharim and Perikud Aleph calls Kol Bisha Erva the Znus HaOizen. And Laida, never I heard this from some of the one of the Derech, he said, what really sent them off to Derech is listening to Goyesha music, and especially Kol Isha. It's a terrible thing, very destructive. But in Yonenu, we should notice something that's obvious. <clears throat> Unlike the Issa of, Tzni, of, of Kedusha, and Sneeus, that's the Raisa, Koil Beish is only the Rabbanan. It's not a Pasuk in the Torah. <clears throat> and Zok the Nishmas Adam in Klal Dalet Sif Aleph, that the Issa Koil Beish is an Issa the Rabbanan. Now the big question, which is going to be negated for the rest of the year, is true. Let's say you, a person listens to a woman th singing, he's I have an Issa the Rabbanan. We're going to call that the Issa, the Evan Ho'eze Issa. In other words, to listen to a Koil Isha, is Nisad the Rabbana? A terrible Issa, but it's a Nisad the Rabbana, right? So a person listens to a Kalisha, there's a Nisad the Rabbana. The next question. Let's say he hears Kalisha and he wants to make a bracha. Is there an Issa or Rechayim, I'm going to call it. Is there an Issa to make a bracha, B'mokim Kalisha? In other words, forget, besides Evan is there also a Rechayim? Lemashal, Tzniyus, is both. Sneas is an Issa on, on, on the woman, that's Evan Ezra. And this I mean you're gonna make a bracha, but Markham Sha'ina Tanua. So there are two different Isurim, and we'll soon see how Pasha that is. And the question is, is there an Issa the Rabbanan of saying a bracha when you hear a woman singing? So we'll say, what's the Shaila? But the Emma says, who told you? The Gemara that introduces the Issa of Kal Isha is talking about the Evan Ezra Isugya. And that's why the Russian brach is Gimel Amadzayin. And that's more clear in the Torah that does not mention in Simen Ayin Hey an Issa to make a bracha in the presence of, of, of Kalisha. Obviously, the Torah passed like his father that there is no Issa to make a bracha in Makam Kalisha. You see, the, the Surim, the Raisa of Machnecha Kodesh, Le'er Bukher Vazdava, obviously is. But this doesn't say. So Oy Bazoy, according to the Rosh, singing Zmiris, mixed, would not be a problem. Now, of course, we don't hear someone else's wife singing or someone else's daughter. That's the Evan Ezra Issa. But singing with my family should be perfectly mutter. However, most Rishayinim, beginning with the Mordechai and Simon Pei, this it doesn't make sense. If the Gemara temples Kol Isha Erva, then you have the Issa the Rabbanan of saying Davashe Bekdusha in the presence of Kol Bisha Erva. 
So we have a, a fundamental machloikis rishonim. Is there an issue of saying a davar in the makam kalisha? How do we paskin? So listen to the lashon of the shulchan aruch. In Simon Ayin AC Falaf, Tefach Megola, we'll soon see that Sneas, Asa to say Krishna. See Bez, say Asa to say Krishna when there's uncovered hair of a woman. See Gimel, Yesh Li Zohar, Mishmias Kalzema, Afilu Bishas Krishna. Zokti Nachlasvi, one of the early Achrainim, and see Cotton Gimel. Obviously, the Machaba is not so convinced that there's an Issa or a Chayim Dik of Kolbi Sherva. And of the Vada Evanezah, that's a Isachama. That's no say it's no says Nayim. But to make a brach when this Koyal Isha is only Yesh Lizar. Now this would explain another halacha. I found two Rishaim, the Mordechai, and the Rabbein Yoin in Daf Yudzayin and Daf Yarif. Beis Yosef calls both of them. Let's say a person, Nebuch, he's Bein Agoyim, he's living with Goyim, he's in an office, whatever the case is. And Kol Ba'ish is unavoidable. The women are singing, he can't stop them. So the, what should he do? Zakta Mordechai, what should we do? Not learn a whole day, not make brachis. But when you say, akum onu yoishvim, if it's unavoidable, you could be makel and learn and make a bracha, b'makam Kol Isha. Rebbein Yoyin is not even talking about Goyim. He's talking about, let's say a person is, he has a woman singing and he has to, and, and he has to, and he has to make a bracha, he can't go anyplace else. We'll soon see how the house is going you could be makel. I, the plea is, if someone is in a place, let's say, Maram Rutenberg was in jail for a long time and there was no plumbing. So pardon me, there was a problem. So what did he do, I imagine? He didn't make a bracha. You can't make a bracha and be even at the rice because there's no other choice, right? If you can't, you can't. So why, when it comes to Kalisha, if there's no Eitzah, you're allowed to do it? What I mean, Yamat Asurim? Teres is Chas V'Shalom. If it would be an Issa Daraisa, so there's no Kunsin. But since at Moses only Yeshli Zohar, Zakhna Mishtabur and Ayin Asif Katn Yudzayin, if it's only Yeshli Zohar, so Taki, you should be Nizar. And I must mention the Mishtabur and Sif Katn Tezayin, quoting Prima Godim. If let's say someone heard Kalisha, he said, eh, I'm, not, I'm, not so, I'm not so from. And he said Krishna. He has to repeat the Krishna. Not a joke. It's the Issa Darabana. But if there's no other choice, so then we say, avoid it, like the, the, the Mordechai says, is to try to avoid it. If you can't avoid it, ignore it, and, say, and, and learn, and say the brachas. So here we have the sugya, and now let's apply it to the but it's They are the isurim of tznius, and the kios is an isadaraisa, applies to all davash abikadusha. Koyal Be'isha, Isidar Abanan, also applies to all Davish HaBekadusha. Be'mokam Tzayr Gadol, Yesh Lahakol. Now let's apply it to So let's say you're someone and the windows are open and someone's walking by in someone's house and he hears some, a woman singing, which of course shouldn't happen. So he should walk away very, very quickly. That's Evan Ezra Isa. Now, question. Let's say someone is in a a girl's camp, and there are girls singing, and he wants to make a bracha. So if he could wait, it's better he should wait. Of course, he has to worry about the singing in the background. But let me ask you this question. Let's say he wants to make a bracha. I can't wait too long. Would it help stuffing up his ears? Put his fingers in his ears, or his earlobe, an earbud you could put in. So what's the shayla? So if he doesn't hear any evil, what could be asa? Right? So, not only it would help for the Evan Ezra is if he doesn't hear the woman singing, maybe it would help for the Archimist as well. After all, he doesn't hear the Kolbi Isha Erva. So, the MS is not so fast. Let's say someone is right next to a dirty diaper. I'm talking that has soy in it. When I say dirty diaper, I mean it's soy. Does it help closing your eyes? Avada not. Right. Let's say a person is connected an Isha She'ena Tsanua, a violation of the Erva's Dava. So we'll soon see it's Pashit, that closing eyes doesn't help. So why by coil do we think it helps if you close your ears? The answer is for us today, it's Masik Mitvash, why I think so. Because the Nikiyos and Sniyos and Issa Darais and Issa Atzmi, it doesn't help closing your eyes or, uh, and ignoring it. But the Kol Be'ish is an Issa Alt hearer. if he hears no singing, there's no Issa. And Taka the Prima Godim and Ayin Hasif Cotton Bays and Lichashlaim Achaf Yud Bays. 
both say that if you're in a place of Kol Be'isha, so Stam, you should worry about the Avanezah issue. You shouldn't be here to sing. But as far as the Archaim is issue, if you stuff your ears and you don't hear it, you can make a brach. And it's even though he's in the presence of a Kol Be'isha, because it's right there, but if he doesn't hear it, it would be mutter. Now, Lemaisa, practically, you have, to know how to, you have to make sure the logistics work. Because let's say he wants to make a bracha, so he has to hold the food in his hand. So how's he stuff with... with <laughs> or, if you hold that, like some sheets, you have to wash your hands after you put your hand in your ear, so you're not really gaining much. So you'll work out the logistics. But let me put it this way. A deaf person could make a bracha b'makam kalisha. A blind person can make a bracha b'makam Okay, next question, I cost you, is not so simple. Let's talk about a situation that you're allowed to hear a woman singing, whether it's an ishtay that's not an ida, or a daughter. So the assumption is that, if there's, that those, those relations, close relations, you're allowed to hear them singing. So when a daughter is singing, even though she's a big girl, there's no issa of evan ha'ezah. Now my question is, can you make a bracha when you hear your daughter singing in the background? In other words, if the gait is singing, so you have two problems. You can't hear her singing, you have to tell her to stop, and also, uh, my question is, you're home cleaning for Pesach, and your daughter is cleaning in the background, she's singing, and you want to make a shakal. Is there an issa for me to make a bracha, or any davash of a when there's no evan or ezah issa? Because it's my close relative, again, a ishta she'enanida, so you might say, well, just like Aram lo Yitroim and can't say Krishna, even though it's only him, so maybe here also there shouldn't be a problem. So the question is, when there's no Evan or Ezra Issa, is there an Archaim Issa? Simple question. So the M, as you think about it, it should be a problem. Because the point is, a Davash Kedusha has to be made when it's in a matzav of Kedusha. If there's a kol b'isha erva in the background, even though it's not us of me to hear it, but it is a kol b'isha erva. And Reza Apella, in Orachayim, Ayin Hei Aleph, Tefach Megula, which we'll soon see like a short sleeve, is also the say of Kedusha, Afilu Hei Ishtoi. Ayin Hei Beis, Sar Shalisha, also the say of Kedusha, Afilu Ishtoi. And Siv Gimel, Yesh Dizor, Mishmias, Kolzema, Ishtoi, Dr. Mo, Afilu, Ishtoi. So three CE from one after the other that makes this spout. Even if there's no Evan or Ezra Dike Issa, because it's a close relative, there still could be Archaim, because it's two different, two different Velten. Evan or Ezra is Sneas, and Archaim is Dovashebe Kedusha. So we established two. Sugis, literally. Even if there's no Evan or Ezra, there could be Arachayim. So here we have this big Yisoyed, and now let's move on. So Lamaisa, when you're home cleaning for Pesach, and your wife, your daughter sing in the background, and you're also cleaning, so let them sing. You want to make a bracha, you have to know what to do. You know, I told the bracha, if your mother sing in the background, you want to make a bracha, so you leave the house. So don't tell your mother to stop singing. I know a friend of mine, he met a neighbor of Rabbi Zalman Meltzer. Zalman Meltzer, besides being the guy in Oilam, was a, was a Balmidus Nizgov. And he asked his neighbor, tell me about Rabbi Zalman. I'll tell you a story that I saw when I was a little child. It was the early afternoon. Rabbi Zalman came home for the afternoon. He went to the door and ran away from his house. So I was worried. He waited, went to the door and ran away a second time. So I said, Rashiva, what's going on here? He goes, nothing. I said, I wonder what's going on here. He said, I'll tell you the truth. I'm coming to my house to rest up in the afternoon. And I hear the, the cleaning lady, a Yiddish lady, about Sarah Tefroy, and she's singing. I can't go into the house. I go and she's going to stop singing. But she sounded so content. I don't want to disturb her. So I ran away. Now it's his house. It's his lunch break. But I talked to him. So certainly if your mother's singing, I told him, you want to go learn? Learn. Go and base magic. Don't stay home and dominate the house. Now how you deal with, with your wife, I'll leave that up to you. But to Dava Shebe Kedusha, in the presence of a wife, or a daughter is a problem, even if there's no Evan or Ezra. Now, the next question is, which relations are mutati mitzad Evan or Ezra? So that's Pashit, a mother singing, a grandmother, a daughter, 
a granddaughter and a wife, that's the Hira. Now, this is, there's no Issa of Evan or Ezra. Le'idach, a niece with an uncle, boy and girl cousins is Pashid, brother-in-law with a sister-in-law, that's a Chais Ishtai, a regular, Erevas that are us. So basically it's only the, the direct, the, the relationships, the close relationships. What's challenging is the question of a sister. Now sister is somewhat in between. Yeah, let's say you're home cleaning for Pesach and your sister's singing. There's no Archaim because no Dav Shikadusha, but the question is the Evan Ezra. So a sister is, is, is tricky because La Halacha, there's no Issa Yichud with a sister. And I mean, be very careful, La Halacha, there's no Issa of Chibuk Venishuk. Even though we all know the Rambam and Isuri Bir, Chaf Aleph Vav, the Shechnach, and Chaf Aleph Zayin quoted verbatim. That it the, that it kiss the sister, I'm very uncharacteristic, is Maguna Biyoisa, Vadavaze Osa, Umaisa Tipshim. But as the Prisha in Sivka and Zion, and Evanezza points out, bottom line, there's no Issa. It's worse than an Issa, they say. If the Ramam calls it a Maisa Tipshis, they say it's worse than an Issa. Fine. But then there's no Issa. So Mitzar Echod, we see by, an, by a sister, there's no Issa Yichud. There's no Issach. The, the, oh, that's good. So, yeah. Yichud Bekviz, of course, Zasa, but it's only Xavier, you're right. But not the Issa Derais, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that. So, Mitzach Shaini, like, you, like that you just said, there is an Issa of Yichud Bekviz. So, but a, a sister is not entirely like a mother. There is an Issa Yichud Bekviz, there is an Issa Chibuk Venishik, Blaist on the Rambam, Akapon him. So, but what's logical to say is, if Yichud Shal Bakroi is Mutter, so how could Kol Be'isha, which is the Rabbonon, be any worse? Now, the Chazinish, in quote in Archas Rabbeinu, Chelek Aleph, Ahmed Nun Dalit, that Rav Wolf, who had a big seminary, a girl seminary, said he asked the Chazinish, and the Chazinish told him, it's also to hear a, girl, a, a sister singing, even Shaloi B'Shaz Dov Shebe But this is hard to understand. I saw Rabbi Yashiv, didn't quote the Chazinish, but in his true as Chelek Gimel, Simen Yud, he makes that Cheshben that a sister is not really an erva in these regards, plus it's only an Issa the Rabbanon, a Yesh Lizor in Kalisha, how could that be worse than Yichud? Rav Sternbuch and Chelek Alef Kof Lamaches also seems to hold me ikid in its mutter, but I found the most thorough discussion, there's a wonderful sefer, Rabbi Falk, the Machzal Yor wrote, Levusha Shal Torah, so in, in, in Tav, Amit Tav Shin Tzadak Tes, he proves conclusively that Hearing a sister sing should not be awesome. He says there's an Eidos, the Be'er Sorim, Aleph Lamed, said the Biskarov said such a, such a psak. So he struggles, Aida Chazinish was Machmir, so he tries to figure that out. But he has a truth from Rabbi Shlomo Zalman. So we have Rabbi Yashar, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman, the Biskarov. So it really makes sense that if there's no Issa Yichud, which is an Issa Torah, how could it be an Issa of Yeshli Zar of Karl Isha? But what all agree, don't forget, even if there is no Issa or Chaya, of, of an Ezra, but there's definitely an Issa of Archaya. Because even Bitoi and Ishtoi is us. <clears throat> so, the Maisa, a person's home alone with his sister, she's singing, he can let her sing. He wants to make a bracha, either stuff your ears or go out of the room. <clears throat> now, the big question, a global issue, I'm just going to mention that Stodim, is the question of a family singing Zemir, Shabbos, Yom Tev, the Seder night, singing Shomda, he sing Hallel. So I'm talking about that there's, there's no outsiders and no brothers-in-law that complicate this. In other words, let me be clear. It's mixed singing, but it's only brothers and sisters and the father and daughter and granddaughter. There's no guests and there's no a brother-in-law that is hearing his sister-in-law sing, which is a problem. So it could be a couple, a young couple, if she's Tyra, it could be an older couple, but I'm talking about it's mixed, but there's no Evan as a problem whatsoever. You look around, sometimes you have a, a brother-in-law, you have an uncle, so it's a problem. I'm talking about there's no Evan as an issue. The question is, is there an Archaim problem? Because you're singing Zemiris. So the MS is, Zemiris, is that considered Dava Shabikadusha? Now, I've got the Zemiris is very Halik, don't get me wrong. But the Archaim Dik Davash Kedusha is Miris a Davash Kedusha. Lamaisa Mizma Ladavid is a is is Tillin. Eishes Chayil, 
is Mishlei. Shem Hashem is Shem Hashem. Nothing changed. And that's why many are machmir, that even if there's no Evan as an issue, but Zmiris is Dava Shebe Kedusha. In other words, if a girl wants to sing a solo Mizma Le David and his only family, so you can let her sing. No Evanezer. But singing with her brother, her father, her grandfather, whatever it is, is the Archaim problem. And Taka, in many homes, the minig is the girls don't sing. Lamaisa, Kayadua, many homes, the, the girls and boys, when there's no outsiders, do sing. And the question is why? I remember a long time ago, I asked Rapam Dishail, and he said, In other words, really, this is hard to be machmer. But it's hard, and I'm going to try to explain what I think he meant. A girl that cherishes her tzniyas and doesn't want to sing in front of boys, even her brothers, bracha. The question is, like the Suryanka Fish in the Chuvas, Evan Yisrael, Chaylik Tes, Ambad Nud Ches says, to tell a girl in a formative year she can't sing things mirrors and not part of the Shabbos Suda, he says that's not good for her. She's going to feel left out. And as he says, you have to give her a cheshik and a hava to have a Shabbos Suda. And he feels that it should be muta and it should be encouraged. Girls have to be part of the Shabbos Suda. Now, Lamaisa, the question is, but you can't be mate esurim. You can't make a cheshbin, I think this is important. So therefore, I'll, I'll discard the aloha. But think about it, it's, it there are sudden be makel. First of all, unlike the Tznias and Kedusha, this is at most an Issa the Rabbana. Like the Rosh and the Tor, there's no Issa or Chaim. So, Davish Kedusha is Muta. The Shechonach used Yes Lizar. Maybe the Cheshbin is to include the girls and give them the Chinach that they should have an Ava for Yiddishkeit. Maybe that overrides it. But there's more to it. The Ramah quoting the Hagoyis Maimini, Ramah's in Siv Gimel, Yesh li Zohar, and he adds, Aval koil haragel boy einoi erva. And this is quoted in Hagoyis Maimini. Koil haragel boy. What does it mean, koil haragel boy? We come to this that an Erlich man is ragel to hear a woman singing? How could that be? So, Zokti, so Yanke Fish in that same tshuva, that it means a relative that is allowed to sing, a daughter, a wife. So since you get used to it, stam, so there's no Issa or Chayim because the whole Issa called Beisha is Hira. If he's used to it, it doesn't bring Hira. So he learns up that the Heta of singing mirrors with a relative is a Befer Shirama based on Agoyiz Maimini. <coughs> so, Koyal Arogel is Mut. Now, the, the embassy is, I must mention, the Bach, the Prisha, the Archashulchan, and the Nachasvi, in a Teresvi, Sif Kotenvav, spells it out. Koil Rogel, I feel it called Zemer. Hoyel Verogel, but ain't a Bali Dei Taiva. So if you want to find a Makar to allow girls to sing together with relatives, there's no outsiders, it's this Ramo. But, however, Lamaisa, the Chiddush is that, is that the Pashtab Shat? Because Lamaisa, we could teach Koyla Rogel boy means when she's talking. A person that's talking is also, an Isha that's talking could also be stimulating, especially if she's a little dramatic and she's, a, you know, she's making a speech, whatever it is. So many Poiskim learn the Ramos, Koyla Rogel, that's the Mogan Avram, the Goyen, Lavush, the, the Rav Shechonarach, learn the Ramos, Koyla Rogel means regular speech, even if it's a little animated. But to have a koil isha, why should that be muta? And the svar is like I told you, once called be isha, the chazal stempled erva, so then why should it be muta? So Rabbi Faltak and that and on the tough saf chaf, he says he doesn't believe the hetta is kala ragel, but he says in yoytzi ashkenaz chareid nim biyoyis medagtegim did sing with the family. What's his heta? So it's a little of a chiddush to me, but he says we could rely on this situation on trei kolay mishdamoi. Even though chalila to rely on that, you have a, a choir of a, a girl singing hayal das it's muta. But in this case, he says besides it's only yesh dizar, and according to Ben Yoyna, if you ignore it and you don't pay attention, you could be mekel. So this is what he feels the heta is. It's part of the Chinuch, and you can rely on Trey Kolei Now that's a very big Chiddush. 
what Lamaisa I was think was thinking, and I think I found this, someone says this. Maybe we'll say, if you say Zmiris, Lashem Dava Shepakadusha, it's a problem. But let's say you're saying Lashem Zamar Baalma. Maybe it doesn't have the identity of a Dava Shepakadusha. Ah, you'll ask me, Sam Chalaish, who gave you the right to take Dava Shepakadusha and consider it Oiz Dava Shepakadusha? So tell me if you like this analogy. This is Shaila, again, Ben Asmanim Shaila, if you have boys in the house. The, Bacha wakes up a, a minute before the last man, Krishna. Quick, what should I do? Say Krishna, right? But he didn't say Berchatar yet. So I say Berchatar, and you want to say Berchatar, you're going to miss this man. So we all know the convenient Ramo and Memvav Sif test that if you're saying Psukim L'Shem Tfila, whether it's by Slichas or Krishna or any other Pasuk L'Shem Tfila, the Ramo's make all to say without Berchatar. Because you're identifying it not as Limara Taira. But as tefillah, okay, maybe that would apply to zmiras. But the emphasis, the the, the 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 comparison is strained, because you're not saying it's ois tayra. You're saying it's the shem tefillah. But here, what are you doing? You're saying it's ois davar shabik kedusha. It has kedusha. Imagine someone singing zmiras in front of a dirty diaper. What are you doing? I'm not. I, I'm not considering davar shabik kedusha. Rabbi Yid, this shem Hashem there. It's mizmor ladav, but it's eishes chayil. You can't make Davish of Gedusha into Davish of Mabakach. So that's why it's hard to say that heter. I did see Rabbi Yashiv is quoted in Alicha is Bas Yisrael to Amit Peites that if you sing mirrors that don't have either don't have either Shem Hashem and or doesn't have Psukim, Lamashal just the Nigin Ba'ambal as Hisha Omda, if there's no Shem Hashem and it's not a Posik. Then you could be makel, because then you could say it's not davar shibikedusha. It would be a zema. But obviously, the implications: if it does have shem hashem, and if it does, it took him eishes chayil, and, and and the other ones would be a problem. Now, lemaisa, Rabbi Falcon, that's safe. Tough stuff. Samach Gimel. He has an interesting analogy. It would be like we wake up in the morning, we wash negavasa, and we say Maidaani. even though maybe it's a guf sheini naki. But if there's no psukim and there's no, it's no shem Hashem, it's like a shavach ba'alm. So lemaisa, I, I want to be very clear. This is a, this is a, 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 a global issue. The apam is talk with simzach shver tzamach mitzay. Now those that are machmer tov ale aleichem bracha. There's what to be machmer. It's a davar shebikdusha. Those that hold that the chinuch of the children are important, then that we based on. A combination, you know, it's so, to roof him, none stand on their own two feet. You can't say I'm makel because yes, these are. Because my say yes, these are. You can't say I'm makel because uh, Kaila Ruggle. Not all agree. But if you add up all this, there would be a possible het. Now, some things are unnoticed. A family have a wonderful minigrad. It's a good chinuch for the children to bench properly. They all sing the benching together. And they sing with a camp, uh, a real kanakadik is a, a song. But that's an oversight. That's wrong. Benching is a davar shabik kedusha. The holidays. How could the girls and boys sing together? Now you might rely on only koyla rogil, or maybe trey Kali, but you can't compare that to zmiras. Leil seder. Some families have the meaning that everybody, the whole family, all the people say kiddush. If you say kiddush, there's no problem. If you sing the kiddush, sing the kiddush, same problem. Kiddush is davar shabik kedusha. Someone asked me, can a girl sing, say or sing Manishtana? So the emphasis is, if she's singing a solo, no one's singing with her, and it's only relative that there's no Evan as a problem, so it can't be a problem. It's not worse than a niggin. The problem is, let's say she has a brother-in-law there, that's a, an erva to her. So someone said, ah, Manishtana, oich me'a niggin. So I told him, mikri megillo yoichiach. He thought I was holding out <coughs> of but I'm not, because the Orches Chaim, the, the one of the Rishonim in Megillah Ois Chaf, points out something startling. It says, din, a woman should be able to lay in Megillah and be mighty a man, because we both have the same Chiyav. But Kol Isha Erva. The Mata Frayim in Ela Flamata in Din Kaddish Yosem Ois Tes, he says, that's why women are not allowed to say Kaddish in our shuls, because if they just say the Kaddish, no. But if they say the Kaddish with a nigun, he calls a lifsume kala, that's already kalisha. 
So obviously, Kalish is a, 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 a full blown nigan. So if the Manishtan is said as a nigan, so you have to be careful, there shouldn't be any, any Evan Ezra issue. But regarding Zmiris, I talk about Zalman was asked, he says, You think in my house the girls didn't sing Zmiris? And he was even makel by Aishas Chayo. So he must have been Saimach, I guess, on the fact that it's Kaila Rogel. When I say Lemaisa, that like the, the Shari Chu, the the, the Shari Tshuva writes regarding the Brachts. Some are machmir because of the shimta, the shimta, chimta, the shimta, chimta of chametz. Some are mekel because of simchas yomtiv. Eilu ve'eil divel kem chayim ve'ameich kulam tzadikim. That's the way it concludes regarding the Brachts. So those that are machmir that the girls should not sing because of a chashash kolisha, there's a tzad to that. Those that are mekel, the girls sing so they have a feeling of the Shabbos, there's a tzad for that. But the ikki is ve'ameich kulam tzadikim. Now, a tricky question is, what age does this Issa apply? A, girl's, a three-year-old girl is singing. Is that already a problem? Is it totally in Bar Mitzvah? What's the age? So the Maisa will soon see regarding Tznius, the Mishtabura, the Be'alacha, it has this Chiddush that all dressing with Tznius begins at the age three. But it's logical to say regarding Kol Be'isha, which is only a Drabanan at most, a Yeshli Zohar, you could be makel with the Shittas that hold that the age is six or seven. I'll soon explain where I got the age six or seven, but we could definitely say that a girl that's singing under six, you could be more makel. We'll soon see why, but the, the Bialoch himself says her father hearing his daughter singing, even Dava Shev before the age of 11 is not a problem. I got someone asked me, he's in a girl's camp, his wife works in the girl's camp. What does he do about them? The girl's singing, you know, that's part of the camp. So Avada tried to find a, pl a better place to learn, to, to learn Torah when the girls are singing constantly. It's, you know, you want to have Torah B'Kedusha. But truth be told, if he has no other aids, he can't leave, whatever the reason is. So we have Rabbein Yaina, we have the Mordechai, that since only a Yeshli Zor, as Mr. Burr explains it, if there's no other choice, he should just ignore the singing and concentrate on the learning. The second sugya is the sugya of Tznias. Baruch Hashem, our, ha our homes shine from Tznias. But it could happen, uh, Yom Tev Shabbos, there's a young girl running around, just woke up and, and slept in a, in a gown, whatever, and the short sleeve, dre um, sleeve or the dresses, the, the, the gown is not uh, b below the knee. But kids, uh, a young child that's not dressed but Tznias, what are the Allah as far as us saying Davish Bakadusha in their presence? Unfortunately, we live in a dark parrot, so you got on a bus, train, or a plane, and you're sitting next to an Isha that's uh, again uncovered hair, short sleeve shirts, low neckline. What do you do? You want to learn on the bus? You want to you're safer with a the safer, they say. You want to learn. So that's clear that the real Issa Torah is La Yerbacha Ervas Dava or which hopefully is never Negeya. But we're talking about what the Gemara in Brachis expands the Issa of Le'er B'cha Erev Dava, and that Gemara calls Tefach Be'isha Erva. Mechabins, Ayin Hei Aleph calls it Tefach Megola Be'isha. In other words, Avada the Erev is covered, but it's, it's a not dressed properly. Again, short sleeves, short dress, uncovered hair, short neckline. So Mr. Buru explains this is an Issa the Rabbonin, not a Deraisa. Why? Understandably, because maybe they hear, again, they hear her. So Chazal expanded the Issa der Isa to what we're going to, we're going to refer to as Tefach Megula. Tefach, that area that's uncovered. Now here too, we have Tzvei Dinam, like we said. There's the Evan Ha'ezah issue, the Isha has to dress properly. And there's Archaim issue. If I am next to someone who's not dressed properly, so they're Evan Ezra, but I'm Archaim. It's also to make a bracha, and machab adds a filu ishtai. So therefore, we have to apply this lemaisa. So that's poshit, that to make a bracha in the presence of tefah megola is an isidir abana. If he did make the bracha and he was, uh, was wrong, he would have to repeat the bracha. He's not yoytza. The question is, what age girl does this is apply? Do we say it's totally in bas mitzvah? Is it only in three years old, like Yichud? 
So here we come to a Chiddush that Mr. Bialacha in Simon INA quotes the Shulchan Shleimer, that's Shleimerville, the Shleimer is the Rav in, in Mir, almost probably 250 years ago. And he says, nearly Pashat, that the Issa of Tevach Megullah by a girl is three years old, like Yichud. By a father, we'll soon see why, it's 11. He has a Raya. But this is his Shita, and the, our Paisik, the Chavetz Chaim, quotes it. That in Yon Eitzniyas, dressing a girl properly begins at three. That's Evan But Archaya, me and you, the Issa of Tefach Megullah begins at age three. Now, this is Lemaisa, what the Bialacha quotes it. And Lemaisa later Paiskim, as, as, as early as the Heilig Chazinish and Tezai and Aleph, he, he wonders and he says, since Tefach Megul is only an Issa alt hero, it's not an Issa Atzmi, and a girl three years old and above, is there any hero? So he says it doesn't make sense. Ein Yetzah Aleya Machmas Kaitnan Hadas Noita. This is the Heilige Chazanish is Das Noita, that it's not an Issa. So when does the, what is the age? The Ein Kan Shir Bishonim Elafim Etziyusam the Katnas Gufam. In other words, if you look at uh, she's a, a young baby, a baby. Uh, but you say, oh, you're a big girl. It's totally under perception. Rabbi Chaim Kanyevsky is quoting Aruch Zerbeinu Gimel Reis Dalad that, that he asked the Chazanish, what age is that? So he said, approximately seven years old. Rabbi Ankev, I once said, yes, the most, so he told me, it's, it's totally of the geviks from the kind. In other words, on the child's development. Now, the velt is more machm a little bit, and they say the age six or seven, that's what a lot of Paiskim say. The, but we do understand that in many homes the girls begin dressing at three years old. That's Bialacha. That's Shulchan Shleimah. Those that are makel, the girls could run around with a short sleeve uh, dress at Bia, over three, it would be this head of the Chazanish, or Moshe said that also, Rabbi Yaakov said that, Rabbi Shleim Zaman, it was Machmir like the Bialacha. But Lemaisa, we could say that in a public place, especially if many people in that shul are Makbed at three years old, so it's, it's wrong to bring in a daughter that's not dressed properly over three. Because for them, they have a Bialacha, they have a Paiskim, that it's a problem. But one thing we will say, and that is that those that are Makel, you have the age of six or seven. But let's realize that beyond that, that it's both an Evan as an issue, and an Arachayim issue. The big cooler that the Shulchan Shleim himself adds is by Bitoi, Bitoi is Muta until 11. Now he bases it on us in Simon Ay and Al and Gimel, Siv Gimel, Ay and Shem, but that's his Heta. But clearly, for a rest of other girls, we have the, this same Achloikis and Aboycha Yifcha. Question. Let's say you have a situation of Tefach Megolabisha on a bus, train, or for some reason someone's in, uh, you have a guest in your house and they, they a married woman, uh, came for the Seder, not religious, and they didn't cover the hair, or whatever the case is. We have a real Tefach Megola issue. Does it help closing your eyes? So you'll say, I see no evil. <laughs> I want to make Kiddush. There's a woman's here, I'm not going to send her out. I'm not going to make Kiddush in a different house. Does it help closing my eyes? So the Chari will say, well, you see no evil, right? More so, we're helped by uh, Kalisha. And the Emma says, this is a child that is almost unavoidable. Train, plane, bus, you, and you want to travel, and there's women in the vicinity that, that have Tefach Megula. So the Emma says that the Chari, Tefach Megula, is Chazal called an erva. How could you say Krishna in that situation? But, as we said, since it's only an Issa de Rabbanan, it would maybe we could say, if you don't see and there's no here, it's Muta. So if you said that, Baruch Shekivanta. But listen to where we started from. The base Yosef in Simen, the end of Simon Ayin Hay, based on a Rambam, and that's the way Paskins in the end of Simon Ayin Hay, that if there's an erva connected, he means literally an erva, and he turns his face the other way, or he closes his eyes. Or it's night and he can't see, or he's blind. So even in a real layer ervas dava, it's mutta to say a dava shebegedusha. Plea, why? Zok the base yosef because layer and you don't see it. So even by a deraisa, 
Atzim Mesanayim helps. However, the Mishnah Berurah Sif Kotan Chav Teh says, Achrayin Am Adoich of this, it doesn't say, Lo Yisira, Lo Yira Haroya, if there's an Erev on your presence, there's the, the same Issa Deraisa. And that's Taka Bebi Paskin. When, and the biggest Raya is, Oram Lo Yitraim, why not? Let him take off Truma and close his eyes and make a Bracha. Is a Raya, Lo Yira Haroya. It shouldn't be visible. But here is the, I guess we could say the life-saving kula that the Mishtebruah in Sif Cotton Aleph quotes, that that taka is also, that's Erev Mamish. Tefach, Megul, it's only us als hero. Then, if there's no other Eitzah, you could be soimich on Atzim HaSeinayim. The Heilig Chazaynish in Tezayin Zayin expands that somewhat, and he says, Lav Davka Atzim HaSeinayim. This is his phrase, Hachzoras Mabotai, which means, if you look into the Siddur that you're saying from, and you keep your eyes focused on the Siddur, or you look in your Gemara and you keep on learning, and keep your eyes, your focus, your gaze is fixed to something else, that is halachically equivalent to Atzim Sinai. Now this is a lifesaver, you're traveling on a plane, bus, or, 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 or train, and you want to learn. But uh, in the streets today, it's the part of the but what do you do? The eight is either close your eyes, or, which is difficult to learn so, so long without uh, opening your eyes, look in the Gemara, and keep your eyes focused. Grada, hero is mutta, even in the worst scenario, of Ervas Dava. Fersh Apostik, la yer vacho Ervas Dava, so the Maran Shabbos, Dav Kuf Nun, di bur osa, hero mutta. As opposed to, here in a place where there's soya. There the Pasuk does not say Dava, Vaya Machnecha Kadoish, like the same Gemara, that even hero is awesome. But getting back, when a person has a situation of Tefach Megullah, so again, there's this guest in the house and you can't make Kiddush elsewhere, so either close your eyes or look in the, in the Siddha and say the Brach. Someone, I saw this, I mentioned the other week, someone told the Chazanish that he comes home, Ben Zman, and his mother never doesn't cover her hair. But when he may bench, he turns the other way and he benches facing the wall. Chazanish gave him a psaq. Why are you mavayish your mother? You want to bench? Good. Look in the siddha. Close your eyes. Don't turn around and be mavayish your mother. Now, the last group of questions, in a certain sense, is the easiest and the most challenging because it's the most common. And that is a place where it's einoi noki, a lack in the kiss of hoya machnecha kodosh. Obviously, there's no difference a boy or a girl's diaper or a relative. So, Lamaisa, here's a common scenario. You finally rounded up the family. You're about to make kids. It took you 20 minutes to everybody's ready. And someone says, oh, I think Yossi needs a diaper change. So, typically, they pick up the baby, drop the other side of the room, and run back. Quick, quick! Well, that doesn't really help. Now, let me explain. So, basically, the Mechaba has a number of sim on him. We're not going to do our regular achas, but I'm going to give the, the practical guidance. When there's tzoya in our machne, there's an Issa de Raisa. Mechaben Pehesi Beis, even here is awesome. It doesn't help closing your nose, closing your eyes. It's the Machne has to be Kodesh. Zok de Rav and Sif, and Simen Ay and Tes, Sif Aleph, even if there's no Reyach coming from it, but it's not Machne Echa Kodesh. Now, more so, Zok de Mechaba and Ay and Vav, Sif Ches, if Lamaisa, you should have checked, you had, a, you had an inkling there might be Tzoyim, but you didn't check and you made a Bracha. You have, to daven, you have to make the brach again. You weren't your Yitzhah B'diyavid even. Why? Suffolk the Rais, you should have been more careful. But we see one kula, plead the kakula, I involve Allah based on the Gemara, Tsoya Bashashi is, Tsoya in a glass encasement, Mutta Likres Kenegda. I, Erev Bashashi is, is an Issa the Raisa. Why is Tsoya Bashashi is Mutta? So this is the one kula that we have regarding Tsoya. And that is, if it's covered, halachically covered, it's like a different machna. And Zokti Mishtebruah, if it's covered and there's no reya coming out of it, that would not be your machna, it's not your concern. This is a life save for those that have a catheter and they're constantly having the problems. But the catheter is the kisui, it's the, the, um, the ashoshis of today. And mutter to say davish kedusha. I it's clear and you could see it, but there's no no isla yerbacha regarding this is. 
So here we have a relief that even though it's the most chamadik isa, but a covering helps. So what I put together a number of paiskim, I'm just going to quote Rabbi Shlaim Bezalm, he says the most clear, Halich Shlaim, but Perik Chaf, see Faber, I found others say it as well, that a diaper in itself is not a kisui. A diaper, disposable especially, but even cloth is, is the same thing, absorbs the waste. So it becomes a graf shel re'i. Graf shel re'i becomes like the, like the waste. Even a clean graf shel is awesome. So he says, a chitol that's on a child, and yes, dvar and begav, you know what I'm talking about, there's something there. So you can't make a bracha, because the diaper and the tzaya adds up to be a problem. But, he says, but let's say the child's wearing a beget over the diaper, and there's no reyach, so that would be a, a, a halachic kisui, and the bracha could be said. That's the way he, that's the way he makes it, this chiluk. Now, lamaisa, avada, if you have a place which, with the children, so occasionally you have to check. Now, as soon as you have to check every time, but if you're sitting a long time, and a long suda, and by kiddush he was fine, but before benching, make sure that there's no problem. What's also poshit, I should mention, that if the diaper only has, pardon me, Meir Glayim, so Meir Glayim is only an Issa when it comes out. Zak the Mechaba in Ayin Vov Zayin, Meir Glayim, that after it came out, is only the Rabbonim. So a, a diaper that's soiled to Meir Glayim, even the diaper itself, as long as that there's no Reyach, you can make a bracha in that presence. Because it's the Rabbonim, it doesn't have the Choyma of the Deraisa. Now, Shlaim Bezalman explains that this is only mutter when there's no reyach of the Meir Glaim coming out. A, once there is a problem of a reyach, we paskin that's a reyach sheyesh by ikah. It's coming from something. So you have to be marchik dalar amois, mimokoim shekola reyach. So to dump the child in the corner, besides, it's a little child abuse. <laughs> but besides that, it's not, it's not proper. Because if the child has a problem and it's within Dalar Amis of Makhmish called the Reyach, it won't help. So take an extra moment, change the child. Now, if you put the child in a different room, again, I'm not talking about the child abuse, Shaboy, dumping in a different room, but if the door is closed, then that's a perfect heta, because it makes it two Rishuyes. Zok the Machab and Ayin Aleph, if the door is open and you can see the child or the problem, then it doesn't help, because the fun of Meloy Einav is a problem. Someone asked Rav Oznan, Chelek Tess, Simon Reish, interesting Shaila, you're on a bus, and there's a child sitting next to you, not your child. What do you do about making a bracha, davash, kedusha? You can't change a child, it's not your child. You don't know what's doing by Yenem. So Rabbi Rav Oznan says this, and I saw the Yor Litzian, between Rabbi Shol, Rav Yashiv says this also, but his, he says it most, like the most clear, that if there's no reyach, then it's a svek fake. it could be mekel. First of all, maybe there's nothing there. Maybe, maybe it's contained, he's wearing clothing. So basically, when, the, when you don't have any, any reyach coming out, you could be saying that it's okay, and you can make a bracha, or daven, or learn. Do you have to check before you say dava shepa kedusha, when there's a child running around with a diaper? So if there's begadim, you're better off. But the question is if there's no begadim, just a diaper. So it's tricky when you learn, you might be misled. Suffolk is of Mechab and Ayin Vav Zayim. Suffolk in Tzayi Bebeisai Mutam. But Suffolk in Ashpa is a problem. Zok the Mishtabur Sif Katan Chav Gimel. In Motsi Sham Katanim Tzarech Livdoik. Bayis is okay, but if there's children, you had a problem. So that might, might indicate that whenever you have a child in the house, you have to check the child before you make a bracha. But the Pais can say, not really. Because since we have a diaper, that does contain the reyach, and often he's wearing a baguette, but even if not, who's, you still have that svek sveka. Because if lamaisi is not within your dalramis, and it could be it's clean, so stam child, if he has a proper maintenance, you could be assumed, stam child, you don't have to check. A person's traveling on a highway and he has to change the baby's diaper. There's no road stop in the, in the, in the, in the, in the near vicinity. So how do you continue learning, listening to a shir, whatever it is, the makayim that is a dirty diaper? So here there's no hat to even of here. And here it's in your machna. So there's a simple eitzah, put the diaper in a bag, 
that doesn't have a, the hole in it, so the reich is contained, close the bag properly, so that would be like a, it's not a graf sorry, forget it, it's a kisui, if it contains the reich, then you're okay. A few more sorted questions. Any child that has a diaper, is it a problem? So you all remember the Gemara in Sukhadav Membeis, a child that doesn't eat a kezayis of dogon, b'kdei achilas pras, you don't have to be marchik from his diaper. Now, this is hard to define. What does that mean? Which, what age is a child that could eat a kezayis dogon, b'kdei achilas pras? So the Yavis in the Siddha says, under a year, you could be soyimach that it's not soya. I guess in those days, they didn't give uh, baby uh, food to ch a child under a year old. The Hayantika Pais have seemed to be convinced that a child of three months and above could eat baby cereal. It's processed better, it's easier it's, uh, to, to digest. Lamaisa, I, I have seen a share three months and above, it should be choishish. The Mishtabura, quoting Magan Avram, and the Rav also says this, Toi v'yosha laharchik mitzoyes katan afilu ben ches, even eight days old. And the Pais can be loved after eight days. Even a ben yoyimah, just it was talking in the context of a mila, so eight days. So I would like to say the following: Mi'ikiridin under three months, you could definitely be mekel. If you have a kimpator that's, you know, hard enough to manage with a new baby, you could tell her under three months, don't have to check the baby's diaper, even if it's something there, it's okay. Over three months, there's a tzad to be machmir, and fashteitzach. If you could be machmir from a ben yoyimah, it's kedai even a ben yoyimah to change the child's diaper. The, the Shukhnarch and Simon Tzadik Vav Sif Aleph writes, you're not allowed to hold something when you're davening because you're, you're afraid you might drop it and you're concentrating on holding it properly more than the davening. Now, this is poshit to daven Shmein Esra or any part of davening holding a child is improper because you're not concentrating. Now, if a woman's home alone, the baby's crying, there's no other choice. Okay, ain't done an Efshim Mishi Efshim. But to daven holding a child is wrong. Also, the chayra, holding a child when you're benching should be a problem. Because the Mechabah says in Ilchaz Birchas HaMozayim that we treat benching like like Shmei Nesra. So, benching is not a time to hold your enikol or, or child, etc. Touching Mokka Mechusa requires a Tilos Yadayim. That's Simendal Atziv Chavalov. Now, this is a big sugi, I'm just going to mention the Halacha Lamaisa. The question is, children, younger children are usually more exposed. They don't, have short, they don't have sleeves, they have short pants, and you touch a child in a mokai mechusa for adults, but it's megula for a child. So many parties can say, well, the problem with mechusa versus megula is because if it's covered, it's sweaty, and it's a problem. So if the child is exposed, it's, it's clean. And talking many parties can make them. If it's megula for children that age, then it's fine. There are two svars that why many people are machmer. Number one, some say that touching the, the legs is a problem of ruach ro. Ruach ro is not totally in the kiss. So presumably even a child's legs should be a problem. More so, some hold that when you, you, when you judge the concept of mokum magula, you don't break it up into adults and children. It's across the board. And the chazanish, the helig chazanish taka was machmer. And he held, once it's a mokoim, a megula, that you should be more machmir, but at least you should know before benching, before davening, it's kedai to wash your hands, because it, it's very common. And one lishal I wanted to mention, someone asked me, it's kedai, this is Mamash, this sugya, he has a, a niece coming for Yom Tiv. he's a bach in the yeshiva, and she jumps on his, his lap. When, when does the isa Nagi apply to a niece, or any other relative, any other person who's not a relative? So, Lamaisa, the Issa of Yichud, we said, begins at three years old. That, that's the Gemara, Shechon The Issa of Kol Be'isha Erva, we said six or seven. Halicha Shloimer, Shem Bezalman and Perichof, Siv Tes, he says that, I quote the Lash Koshki, in Divrei Chiba, Kugayin Chiba, Kugudayma, all agree that the share begins at three years old. And he spells it out, a bas ochiv, anis, so, Nagiya der Chiba should be a problem. The point seems to be that we're an Am Kaddish, we have to have Kedusha. So, once, even though you might say, but she's so young, is that a problem? But I guess you assume once Yichud is a problem at that age, that should be the Gabi. These things also, I couldn't talk to you all.
Shame you can should tell like it'll be a shakar to have Smith for today's share. The boy side of Shul makes an appeal every year for my schitim, for the spachas, I need uh, help for Yantov, Pesach, or we start with the mitzvah of Kimcha, the Pisgah, the credit card machine. Okay, just what we learned today is first of the importance of Tznias, Kiyas, that's the Haftach um, that we have the Shechina in our midst. It brings the Asherah Sashchina, but beside that, we saw two Isure Torah to say a brach, any Davos of Kedusha in the presence of Tzaya or Erva, it won't help closing eyes, closing nose, stuffing the ears. When it comes to a real problem, it's Asa Midar There's an Isidar Abonon of Kol Bi'isha Erva, which is Asa al and that we said closing the ears would help. In fact, even if the, you can't close your ears, whatever reason, if it's unavoidable, you could be makel, just ignore the singing and concentrate on the Davos of Gedusha. But most important, as we established, there are two different sugyas. The Evan or Eze Issa is an Issa on the person to be Batsniyas of Kedusha, and there's the Archaim Issa of Davosheb Kedusha. So, to put that practically, Archaim Issa is any Davosheb Kedusha. Brach is davening, learning, Krishna. When there's an Archaim Issa, it's even Ishtoi, Bitoi, because Archaim is independent of Evan or Eze. Who is not a problem regarding Evan or Ezra? So it's a mother, grandmother, daughter, granddaughter, sister singing, Yesh as we said, even though some are Machmir. But basically, anybody else, uh, sister-in-law, uh, aunt, all these things, Avada are awesome. Zmiris, when there's no shame Hashem or Psukim, then there's probably a big attack to be made even if there is Shem Hashem and the Psukim, Eishas Chayil, or Mizmah L'David, Harbe Makilim, Harbe Machmirim, Eilu Ve'elu, Divra Lekim Chayim, and Kavanos Hashem Shemayim. But we mentioned benching, or Kiddush Le'el Seida, if it's with a nigan, that is, should not be done, because that's a real Dava Shebe Kedusha. The women should say the Kiddush quietly, or the benching quietly, that's a, a practical Eitzah. Manishtana, when there's no guests, is a, not a problem, because again, if there's no Evanezah, and, and there's no, there's no Archaim. The age for, kol, for, for this Kol Be'isha, we said, is six or seven. For her father, it's 11. Tzniyas Tefach Megula, again, is two separate Isurim. The Bialacha says that the Issa of Evan or Ezra by a girl is three years old, dressing properly. And of course, Dava Shev Gedusha in her presence. Many are Mekel, both regarding the Evan Ezra of a girl three and the Archaim of a girl three. But the good news is, when there is a real tefach megola be'isha, atzima senayim, definitely helps. A dirty diaper is not totally in anything but machnecha kodesh, so here is also kiso is muta, because that would isolate the dava, that's the dava matunif. But typically, dirty diaper is the biggest problem. You need dal abs, makashi kolareyach. Mayor Glaim is the Rabbanan, but if there's no Reach, that would be more Mutter. But a clothing over a diaper would be the Kisui. Stam, you don't have to check a child if he's maintained, so prop, if there's no smell, Zich, you don't have to check the child. When you're traveling, if you have a, a dirty diaper, put it in the bag, close it well. A newborn, some are Machmir, beginning a newborn, but definitely under three months, it's hard to ignore the diaper, especially for a temperature. This might be uh, helpful. 
And holding a baby during benching should not be dumb. The Maka Machusa is questionable if it's muta by a child, by him as Megulam, and the Yechibik Venishik of a, a, a three year old and above, holding should be avoided. So we have double